All right, guys, another awesome zucchini recipe. We have company coming over and I need to make a quick dessert. I've never made these before. You guys might have, but I'm excited to try it. Today we're making zucchini brownies with a really yummy cocoa frosting. And the neat thing about this recipe is you don't have to drain your zucchini, which I love. So I went ahead and shredded two cups of zucchini. You guys don't need to see me shred any more zucchini. As always, I'll leave the link to the recipe in the description below. But let's get going and let's try it. I have been working my tail off today, canning up a storm. I just pulled out the last batch of mulberry jam. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to make it, but I did. Pushed on through, got it done. Okay, we've got all of our dry ingredients. Let's mix these up. Just cocoa, flour, baking soda, and some salt. I figure since these brownies have zucchini in them, they can't possibly be bad for you. It's gonna be like basically eating vegetables. All right, we're just gonna mix up our oil and sugar. I don't think I'm gonna have enough sugar because I made all that jam today, so I'm gonna use, it calls for one and a half cups. That's only one cup, so I'm gonna just use stevia for the other half. Hopefully that doesn't hurt it. And how much oil? Half a cup of oil. This recipe, oddly, does not have any eggs in it. So. Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla. Does anyone measure vanilla? I never ever do. Another zucchini recipe. Oh, yeah, we'll that. Zucchini brownies. Cocoa icing. Is that for our dessert? Yep. Okay, guys, I have the liquid mixture in here, and the recipe said um, once I mix it to let it set for like 10 minutes, let that zucchini keep wicking its moisture. And if you need to, you can add like up to five tablespoons of water. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna need it. My zucchini is usually pretty moist, but we'll see how it goes. Bring it in, guys, close. So it, it soaked up all the dry ingredients. I'm still gonna let it set for 10 minutes. Alrighty, guys, the oven is preheated to 350. It's been about 10 minutes. This definitely moistens up, so definitely don't add water um, until you make sure that you need it. It's nice and moist. I've got the baking pan greased. And we're gonna get this smoothed out and throw it in the oven for about 22 minutes. Zucchini has to be the most versatile fruit out there. Don't you guys think? There's like nothing you can't do with it. One year I made the mock pineapple and I used that like it was going out of style. It worked great. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then we're gonna get to making the frosting. The ingredients for the frosting is uh, melted butter, powdered sugar, um, milk, cocoa, and some vanilla. I already have the milk measured out, so let's put in the powdered sugar. 
I guess this is the part that makes it not healthy. So if you want to skip this part and just eat vegetarian brownies, you can do that. Three tablespoons of cocoa. And our milk. And a tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, these are supposedly done. Oh, what, you got tater tots in with my brownies? Oh, yeah. That looks good. Woo! Smells like brownies. I guess I have to let it cool though before I put the icing on it. So next time you see us, we'll be eating it and let you know how it is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I had a bite and then I forgot I was supposed to record it. So <laughs> we're gonna get Emily's reaction for the first time because I'm telling you guys what, it's something else. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so Look, bad. eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. You know it's good when you gotta close your eyes. Oh, yeah. So guys, yeah. definitely give this one a try. It's amazing. Reminder, I'll put the link in the rest um, to the recipe in the description. So see you in the next zucchini video. Bye guys.